Hey guys, my name is Keenan Cornelius and I'm super excited to tell you something today and that is for the first time ever, I am revealing all of my secrets, everything that I've guarded so dearly to my heart to protect the lapel guard, I'm now giving it away. And what that is, is the lapel slayer. It's a new course that's coming to jujitsux.com where I teach you how to defeat any and all lapel guards that you will face. So back in the day when I started playing lapel guard, I had a, a few uh, acolytes that started picking up the, the lapel game. And I saw a lot of bad habits were being formed by people who wanted to get right into the, the lapel but hadn't taken the time to learn the full system. I hadn't even taught the full system yet. So they went down the wrong path. They went down the dark path. The dark path of lapel lasso. And this used to make me hate lapel lasso because People were doing it against me and there, I just saw so many opportunities to break the position. Just like easy counters that just work so consistently that I would tell everyone, don't use lapel lasso, it's bad. It sets you up for disaster. It's just a position where you have to stall and then you get stuck in these, these holes where you can't get out because you're holding onto the lapel too long. Um, but that didn't stop people from committing to the lapel lasso. Eventually, like four or five years later, I started discovering more lapel lasso options with the discovery of the Polish worm. When Polish worm became a thing, then it, it made more sense to get to lapel lasso because it was a good defensive kind of stalling position and you could use it to get to the Polish worm, which is a dynamic attacking position, one of the closed worm guards. So one of the things that I always thought was super annoying is when they lasso and they just try and lasso it so tight they just like keep wrapping around their leg and trying to spin underneath and do all these things where they're just wrapping their own leg up so tightly here. And you can see this makes it a lot more difficult for me to get all the way around his body because if I start reaching, he can just keep inverting through and it's hard for me to get around. So it's like a, it's like he's umaplati in the lapel kind of, but it's just wrapped up like one full 360 degree rotation around his leg. But what I realized is this is like the worst thing that someone can do. <laughs> From a, uh, from a lasso scenario. And it's not, not only that, but I can take advantage of it even if he doesn't overcommit on turn like that. So let's say someone really starts overcommitting and turning and inverting. I just put my hand behind their knee to kind of help them a little bit. And then check this out. Because he's tied it up so tightly and he's put the foot right behind my armpit, this is a totally free knee bar. Like I can just knee bar anyone from here. And I would just do this over and over again to anyone that that tried to do this to me, all you do is just put your knee right over their hand or under their hand. There's really no way to mess it up. You just bring your knees in like this and just sit back and put your feet up over his butt and lock it into the hip here like this. So he might have thought he was setting up some sort of sweep, but now I'm in an under armpit knee bar and it doesn't matter if he holds onto the lapel, it doesn't stop me from knee barring him. I can just lift my hips up and because it's behind my arm like this, you have that super knee bar control because let go of this for a second. A normal knee bar is on this side of your head where you put it like in their ear and you have control like this. And if you can, this is like how you break someone's knee. You put it behind and you grab some material to lock it in place and you really wrench into it here and you get an extra six to 12 inches of breaking force. So he's essentially giving me the world's tightest knee bar by lassoing. So I'll show it one more time from when they give it to you by inverting too much. I just bring my knee up and my, my foot is gonna go in between his elbow and his thigh. It's gonna go right through here. My foot goes through there. So I bring my knee over, and because it just slides right down his forearm into his knee, it'll go right into that hip just where I want it. And then I just sit low and try and get my hips under the knee as much as I can. Let's rotate a little. Once my hips are on that knee joint, you're just lifting. And he has to either let go or, I mean, he can't do anything. He already trapped himself. Because look, he's not only did he give me the knee bar, but he also tied up his own foot so he doesn't have a chance to pull his foot out or escape or do anything. And it's just like the easiest knee bar in the world. You literally just fall over and knee bar them. So that was what made me hate lapel, uh, lapel lasso so much because I was like, man, you're incredibly vulnerable there. The only way he can defend that is if he really commits to facing this direction, right? Like this and making sure that I don't get to that side, but then it's not over because the way he lassoed here, even if he doesn't commit to the inversion, all I have to do is just make sure that my hip stays in front of his foot and I can connect my elbow to my knee and I can force the inversion by just moving my body around. So if someone's really holding you here and you're unable to get around to do the passes, 
you just move in the opposite direction. I'll just post on his collar like this, or just post on his chest here like this, and then I grab his knee to stop him from moving too much, and I just walk this way. The second I'm here, the knee bar's there. You just sit in, pinch your knees, and throw one leg up over his other leg, and hit the knee bar. There's really not much he can do to counter that, except let go of the lasso. So that's like a serious issue I always saw with the lapel lasso. I usually avoid it just because no one goes for it. Like I'll play lapel lasso because no one ever would set up the knee bar on me. So it just wasn't a big deal. I guess I was the only one that saw the weakness in it. But now I'm just telling you now that lapel lasso is incredibly vulnerable to knee bar, like so vulnerable. It's, it's essentially the same as like put, putting your arms out from bottom mount. It's like they're just gonna take the arm bar. It's not rocket science. So yeah, that's, that's how you do it. Go ahead and lasso one more time. I'll show it one more time. So even against someone who's not like hyper, hyper wrapping their leg, you can just force it just by grabbing here. You could see how if you kept opening up this direction, I wouldn't be able to get around it, but then I can pass to this side with this angle cut, magnet control, head pressure. And then when they're threatened by that, they have to turn back the other way. And when he turns back the other way, I just keep my hips away, walk like this. The best move he could do if he was quick enough and fast enough would be to switch to go through my back like this. But the nature of it is I don't wait. I just walk and immediately sit because his leg is fully trapped, so I don't have to worry about him slipping out. So the second I feel the lasso come up and he's committed to this side, I just walk and sit. It doesn't have to be pretty. You can literally just do this. Like I don't even have to put my feet in the right areas. His knee is gonna get broken sideways or otherwise. Like right now it's more of a sideways knee bar, but that's gonna get him anyways. And you can entangle him however you want with your feet and lo get, get locked up fully. To make sure that the knee bar is super tight, you just have to make sure your hips get low. That's the real key. So if my hips, when I walk around his body, I just make sure my hips go under his knee like this. See that, how I, I kind of can cup his knee and pull it through so my hips are underneath and then sit and just trap his butt with your other foot here for knee bar control, okay? So that's the knee bar counter to the lasso that no one's doing. If you know that, you don't really have to worry about lasso anymore, especially when coupled with the Mission Impossible passing style.